Hi, I'm Stan Miller, and welcome to Oscars on Tap. I'm here with Journal Sentinel film critic Dwayne Dudek. Dwayne, today we're talking about Best Supporting Actor and Best Supporting Actress. Let's start off with the ladies. Who are the front runners in that category? This is a category where a lot of younger women get nominations, uh, and uh, I'd say that this year uh, the, the, the front runners have to be uh, Melissa McCarthy in Bridesmaids. She's obviously on. Uh, on, on Mike and Molly on television, and uh, she's just very popular. And you know, I, I didn't love Bridesmaids, but it is probably one of the most commercially successful film of any of the ones nominated this year. And um, and she is sort of the comic centerpiece, if you ask me. She just creates a really clever character. I really appreciate what you do for this country, and I respect the hell out of you. That's great. I'm not an air marshal. I'm gonna take a nap. Awesome. Cool. I'll take the first watch. And the other frontrunner has to be Octavia Spencer from The Help. Um, again, um, I think both the actresses in that film that are nominated are going to um, uh, probably are, would be considered the frontrunners for their categories. Dwayne, what about Best Supporting Actor? Who do you like? Who are the top two, would you say? Top two uh, in the Supporting Actor? Boy, that's a tough, you know, that's a tough category. I'd say the top two uh, actors are uh, both in their 70s. Maybe uh, Max von Sydow, who is in uh, Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close, a post-9-11 kind of drama about a kid he plays. He, he doesn't speak during the film. It's, uh, uh, it's a really terrific performance, plus he's a wonderful actor. And uh, the other actor is uh, Christopher Plummer, who was, uh, who did win a, uh, a Golden Globe for beginners. I certainly think, uh, as a, as a man who comes out as gay uh, in his seventies, and uh, uh, and I think that he he is also uh, the co front runner along with Max von Sydow. It's sort of a funny because these are probably the two oldest nominees of the of the of all the uh, acting nominees this year. Dwayne, you've touched on it. We have these nominees for Best Supporting Actor, guys in their seventies, in their eighties, and then in the Best Supporting Actress, we have much younger women. What is going, are we just looking for a trend here? Is there something going on? I don't know what the discrepancy is. As I said, supporting actress has always been a place where uh, young actresses launch their careers. And um, maybe it's because in the acting, supporting actor category, these certainly are people who have, ha you know, they have miles and miles of experience. And, and maybe that shows through in their performances. And in, um, uh, in the best supporting actors, I'm not sure why this isn't true, uh, but uh, uh, they are they, they just seem to be younger actresses. Maybe the oldest one probably is Janet McTeer, who also uh, appears in Albert Nobbs as a woman posing as a man. Why? Uh, I, I, maybe it's maybe it's sexism. I don't know, um, but maybe there aren't as many good roles for older actresses. That certainly is possible. Dwayne, thanks so much for running down the players and best actor and best actress for us. Really appreciate it. For the latest movie news. Television 2, check out Dwayne's blog, Dudek Abides, at tatmilwaukee.com.